In this video, the secret to pouring self-leveler and getting a flat floor. Okay, so here we go. Let's see how we do. Okay, so I got this front hall and hallway over there. And I'm going to be installing a big, huge tile. It's about, I think it's four feet by two feet. Big tile. I'm not exactly sure. It might be a little bit smaller than that. But it's a big tile. And this floor is way out of whack. It's not flat at all. It's got whole humps and bumps and dips. So to be able to install that kind of tile, you have to have a flat floor. So you can do spot leveling if it's just a few spots that you got some low spots. Uh, but in this case, it's really bad. So I'm going to show you how to um, pin a floor so you can use self-leveler and get a flat floor. So what does pinning a floor mean? Pinning a floor means that you set a uh, pin, in this case it's just screws, uh, to the height where the self-leveler has to be to be at the same plane all the way through the floor. Uh, you're gonna understand how I do that in a second. So, first thing you have to do is find the high spot in the floor and establish uh, the uh, minimum depth of the self leveler. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So this is my 10 foot straight edge. And I use that on the floor here to find out where my high spot is. So this is my high spot right here. Right here. And this floor goes all the way around here. They're gonna have to change that door. There's some rot there, the closets. And it goes all the way through here. And you can see that I have my laser level set up. And I got a bunch of pin screws, if you can see them. And back over here we're back down practically zero so I'm going to show you how to pin this floor so I establish my height over there in that spot there and I put in a screw so that it's just if you can see it right here just a, almost a quarter inch above the floor. If you look at all these other screws, you see that some are much lower, some are much higher. Um, and that's because that's how far the floor is at a level. I got screws all the way around here. Now, to establish that height, I got my laser level. So I set the laser level low enough so that it, it would cross my screw gun. Um, so I put a piece of tape on my screw gun here. And then over there, I establish my height by screwing the screw down. I'm gonna screw this down a little bit to the height you need. So see here, this is, so then I marked my, the tape with, this is a crayon, you can use a marker or a pencil, whatever shows up. The crayon works well because you'll see that it lights up a little bit as you get to the right level. So, and then you just screw the screw down uh, until you line up with that light. You always wanna make sure you hold the, the screw gun at the same angle. And you do that all so you make sure and see how, how that's at the same level. Now I'm gonna do that throughout and over here as well. I don't know if you can see this one. It's always on that line there. And then, so you get the screws all the way around. And you just put as many screws as you want. These are gonna be reference screws. So there's another one. I'm gonna screw this in. So you get to that line. Now, these screws are all, the screw heads, are all at the same height. And that's how I get my reference line. See, it's pretty deep here. So to be perfectly clear, the first screw you put in is going to be at the high spot of the floor. 
and you're going to set that screw at the minimum depth that is allowed by the self leveler in this case it's a quarter of an inch you have a piece of tape across the the screw gun you're going to set the laser so the it crosses that piece of tape you hold your uh, on that first screw you hold your screw gun on it and then you mark where the laser crosses that level now that gives you a reference point for every other screw so when you move the laser around you're going to put left reference line some wherever you might need them so that you can always set the laser at the same level and so every time you drill down a screw you're going to have the laser always at the same level so when you put in a screw you're going to make sure that you screw it down so it hits the line on the tape and you're going to do the whole floor like that and that's going to give you uh, the screws all at exactly the same level. You're going to see that I am perfectly level. So that's how you pin a floor. So I'm going to keep pinning throughout here. Okay. You know, using my laser as a reference. Then this gives me the depth of my self leveler so over there over there in that near that hardwood floor over there it's practically at zero a quarter inch and over here i'm almost at an inch and a half that's how far far out of level this floor is and then when i go back in, over there into that back into that corner there i'm practically at zero over there so this floor is way out of whack Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Okay, so I pinned the entire floor, but the screw heads are hard to see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a dab of white paint all on the heads of the, uh, the screws. It's easier to see where they are. So if you see, it's hard to see the, the screw heads. I mean, I, it's hard to for me to see it in the, in the, um, on the screen here. Now, painting the screw heads is not something that you would normally do. I'm just doing it so that you can see the uh, pins on the floor for this video. Okay, so I got all the... The screw heads all the way through. And then over here, you can see there's like all the way down the floor. So this is like about an inch over here, and then it comes to about three quarters over here, about three quarters, half inch over there, half inch over here. Uh, almost nothing quarter inch over here um, maybe a quarter inch quarter inch quarter inch and then it's about a half inch over here so I'm gonna say about three quarters of an inch on average so another important thing when you're doing self leveling you want to make sure that you fill all the holes anywhere a uh, the, the, the flowable liquid can go down below the floor so i'm going to have to create a dam uh, where there's holes i'm going to show you that in a second and uh, you always have to leave a quarter inch expansion around the perimeter i'm going to show you how to do that i'm going to have to now over here in this area here i might we're actually just going to block this off over here because that door has to be replaced and i have to get rid of all this um, they're gonna have to take out this plywood so I'm just gonna block off the closet I'm gonna put a 2x4 across here 2x4 across there and over here across here we're gonna put a piece of quarter inch plywood standing up and the foam up against it to block that off same over there and here we're gonna put a 2x4 in this doorway we're going to put a two by four to block that off and the same in this doorway here around the rest of everything else we're going to use this 
sill foam here, which is a quarter inch. And, and then we're gonna, uh, you know, you'll see what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna dam everything off to make sure that we don't lose any material below the floor. I cut this in half. I cut this in half. And now I'm gonna get the factory edge. See, this is the side I kind of get the factory edge, which is flat. And then I'll push it down to the floor. Push it down to the floor. So it's tight to the floor. And we'll staple it on the wall. Down flat on the floor. It's flat on the floor. And that's not good. I'm gonna put a bead of caulking all the way around here. doing over here by the door as I said they're taking that door out so we're gonna do that a little bit later we're just gonna block this off over here but I'm all the way around all the way around all the way around and I ran a little short over here so I'm gonna have to get a little bit more to finish this little area up here so next is a bead of cork because if I would have just pour it the way it is now it would probably go under so I'm going to seal that foam to the floor so that I don't get any leaks anywhere. Do that all the way around down in there just like just like this to seal it all up seal this thing up here just do the hydro band board just gonna screw these together Okay, so the leveler that we're using is Laticrete Next Level Plus. So this here, with the the, uh, the primer, so this this self leveler here with 
the primer can be it can be used over exterior grade, pl grade plywood. First, you prime the plywood, and then you mix it according to the ratio, uh, depending on your substrate. For for exterior grade plywood, it's a ratio of one to one, so half primer and half water. So you prime that, and then you can pour this directly over the plywood. Uh, so what, if you're doing self-leveling, be very sure that you get the correct type of leveler because not all uh, self-levelers go can go directly over plywood without um, any kind of, uh, of reinforcement. So there's another one that's called Next Level, not the Next Level Plus. If you were to put that over plywood, you would need to use uh, a wire, mesh, lath, uh, diamond lath over the plywood before you would pour the, the leveler. So that's that's the case for many different levelers. So just make sure that you get the correct leveler for the substrate that you're, you know, you're, you're trying to flatten out. So this is a, a very good leveler, a next level plus by Laticrete. Okay, so if you, before you pour the leveler, you need to prime it so that the leveler will stick to the uh, substrate and this is what I'm using so the back of the container is going to have the ratio of water to primer and we mixed it here at one to one and I'm going to just use a broom and spread it out on the floor to get it primed and then we're going to let it dry so uh, Neil's my cameraman today, <laughs> so uh, he's helping me out. So what you do is you just, you know, I vacuum the whole floor. And you're just gonna just get it on the floor, turn it out. And try not to get on the wall. Very important. If you're not upset, you can you can skip. Just let me try doing this. Yeah, you can tell it's covered. Okay, so prime the whole floor all the way down there. All the way around here. Now I put up a dam here yesterday so the, it doesn't go out the door there. Put another dam over here. It's just a quarter inch plywood with uh, the foam on the front. And then over here. And this is where we're going to stop because. Uh, they got to change this door so we just dam this right off and we'll finish that up once they get the door and another dam over here so we're ready to spread okay so this is a barrel for mixing I didn't turn the, I didn't turn it on this is a barrel for mixing got a dust hog hooked up to the vacuum so that we contain the dust this is our gauge rake so that we get the right amount of material. We set it about three quarters. Uh, it's about average for here. For this floor, it goes from about an inch to, to a quarter inch. And this is our smoother to break the surface tension so that the stuff will flow. Now Neil's got to mix. So when mixing the self-leveler, it is critically important to mix the correct ratio of water to powder. So read the directions and make sure that you add the exact amount of water that the self-leveler calls for. Don't put any more and don't put any less. So the levelers will have a recommended paddle for the drill, a recommended drill speed. Follow the directions very carefully. Very important that you mix it according to the directions so that you get the performance that's designed into the self-leveler. You can buy kits like the one I have here, which is, includes a barrel, the smoother, 
the drill paddle and the cleats that you can attach to your shoes so you can walk in at the level without getting it all over you. Uh, cleats are actually uh, very important when you've got a decent size paw so that you can get in it and walk around and smooth it off. And otherwise, if you can't walk in it, you're not going to be able to get it the way it needs to be. I will include links in the direction to as many of the tools that I can find that would be needed for this type of installation. You don't want to dump it this way, you want to dump it so it always goes into the wet. It's kind of hard to do that, you know, hold the camera and do that at the same time. And I'm just smoothing it off to cover the screw head. See how there's a screw head right here? I just want to just barely cover the screw head, see that? I'm just going to spread it out. So let me find a screw here. See there's a screw right there. I just want to just barely cover the screw heads. Make sure because the screws are my on my level. So I'm just going to keep on smoothing it off. Make sure I get the right depth. back if I have to. Cover the screw heads. Yeah, a little bit more over here. Okay, I'm 
just have to rest. Yeah, make sure you dump it into the wet. Okay, then move, move across all the buttons. Yeah, you can just dump it all that out. I gotta feel the screws as I'm going along without I'm touching the heads of them, you know what I mean? Mm. Hear it? Yep, yeah, just click, click. <clears throat>
Okay, so let's see how we did. Flat there. Flat across there. Flat across there. Flat there. So I think we did pretty good. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.